Do you remember where you were in June 2017? I certainly don't, but at this time something big happened. That would change mobile gaming forever. It's June 2017, and a new Supercell game gets released to test for beta on all iOS devices in Canada. This was the beginning of the game we now know as Brawl Stars. A lot has happened in the six years the game has been out, and today we will be roughly covering everything that happened in this time period. Let's hop right in. At the start of beta, Brawl Stars used to be a portrait mode game, like Clash Royale. They later changed this to become a landscape mode game, and that was definitely the right call. There were only 15 brawlers at the time, but this changed in July when Piper got added. Then in September, two more brawlers got added, Pam and Tara. Another exciting thing was a new mode, Brawl Ball. Back in the day, you didn't need to use one ammo to shoot the ball, and Mortis had a ridiculously long range, so Mortis was the best pick for sure. Moving on to December of 2017, and Daryl got introduced to the game. He seemed pretty normal until you saw his super roll distance. It had a range of 23.3 tiles, which is more than three times the distance it can roll right now. Then there was a long time without an update, but in March of 2018, the game became landscape. Power points were also added instead of elixir, which you could use to upgrade either a brawler's HP, attack damage, or super damage. Fast forwarding two months later, and Penny and Frank got added, together with Duo Showdown, Trophy Road, a rework to Heist, Big Boxes, and Spectating Mode. One month later, and Brawl Stars was finally available on Android. Gems were also added to boxes in this time period, and then again, a long time without any updates. But this all changed in September when Mortis got remodeled. Event modifiers like Meteors and Energy Drink were now a thing, and you could also take a look at your battle log to watch a replay or just look at the opponents you faced. December 2018, the biggest month for Brawl Stars ever. Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I'm a community manager for Brawl Stars at Supercell, and today I have some news. Brawl Stars is going global! That's right. This is the month when the game went global. Leon got added, together with a completely new look to the game. Everything looked much more polished, and it started to look like the game we now have. 2019. Supercell started off the new year hot with the introduction of Gene. One small problem, every time Gene used his super, the game would crash. In February, Carl got added, together with the game mode Siege and a couple of new skins. Two months later, and Rosa got added one of the most broken brawlers on release ever. With an 80% shield that lasted 6 seconds, she was absolutely menacing. Four days after she got released, an emergency nerf was given to her. Some more stuff happened this month, including a bow remodel, training cave, and you could now watch the highest trophy games in the world with Brawl TV. Then in May, BB got added. Another month later, and a new thrower was introduced to the game. That's right, it was Tick. Together with a Tara remodel, second star powers, star points and the star shop, was this one of the biggest updates of the year. Back in the day, there were only 20 ranks, but in August of 2019, this all changed. 15 new ranks were here, together with a Piper remodel and a new brawler. 8-Bit. 8-Bit had such a broken star power that when he died, he respawned with full HP. This made it so Supercell tried to balance it. But in the end, they gave up and replaced it with the star power we now know as Plugged In. Moving forward to September, and the fourth ever legendary brawler got added, Sandy. El Primo got remodeled, and there were two new game modes, Takedown and Lone Star. Both of them weren't really a success, but it was still fun for maybe 10 minutes. In October, something else big happened. The precursor to Power League, Power Play, was now added. In this mode, you needed to play three matches per day to collect points. At the end of every two-week season, you would get star points, which you could then use to buy cosmetics or boxes. Power Play wasn't the only thing that got added. Frank got a remodel, and Graveyard Shift was a new showdown mode. Then in November, one of the first collabs happened. There were now six new skins to buy, the Brown and Friends skins. In December, 
two more brawlers made an appearance, B and Max. There was also a new limited time game mode, Present Plunder. Moving on to 2020, and Mr. P was here, together with Hot Zone. And then in March of 2020, a massive update happened. Introducing Gadgets. Every brawler now has their own unique ability that could be used three times every match. This really spiced up the game, making room for new strategies, and it was just more fun overall. Gadgets alone were already huge, but with the removal of tickets, which you could use to play the weekly events like Big Game and Robo Rumble, and a collab with PSG, this update seemed to be the biggest of the year. Only two months later, and probably the biggest Brawl Stars update ever happened. The Brawl Pass got added. A new way to progress, which had tiers, a new brawler, skins, and so much more. Hot Zone got revamped. Gale and Nani were added, together with pin packs, quests, and a Pam remodel. Then in July of 2020, the second ever Brawl Pass season came. Surge was now here, together with a new weekend mode called Super City Rampage. You basically fought a Godzilla ripoff that chomped buildings. Was this all? No, it wasn't. Second gadgets got added, and Crow got a remodel. You could now also use pins in matches, and the trophy road got extended. In September, Colette got added, probably one of the worst brawlers ever on release. September was also the month when the now famous Star Park, Invest in the Future video was released. This was the start of the Brawl Stars lore. Moving on to October, and a new legendary brawler was introduced to the game, Amber. I just mentioned that second gadgets got added, but there were only 10 brawlers with a second gadget. In this update, a lot more brawlers got two gadgets, and there was now a map maker mode. Then in November, Lou got added. Not much happened during this update, except for some new skins and new environment. But December made up for the lack of new content in November. Two new brawlers were here, Byron and Edgar, with Edgar being the first ever brawler to be completely free to unlock during the Brawly days. This was also the time when a couple of pins got animated. Starting off 2021 with the introduction of Colonel Ruffs, later renamed to just Ruffs. Even more brawlers got a second gadget, and there was now a monthly qualifier challenge to hopefully have a change of participating in the Brawl Stars Championship. March 2021. Power Play finally got replaced with Power League, and a new Trophy Road Brawler got added. Stu, moving on to April, and Bell and Squeak were the two newest brawlers added to the game. Together with a new game mode called Knockout, a return of Takedown and Lone Star, more game modes for Mapmaker, and a rework to the replay system, this was a pretty big update. Not as big as the Jurassic Splash update that happened in June of 2021. Two new brawlers, Buzz and Griff, got added. Even more brawlers now got a second gadget. New game modes were introduced, including Volley Brawl, Basket Brawl, Hold the Trophy, and Trophy Thieves. Knockout got a bit of a rework, and there were now new map tiles and modifiers for Map Maker. Fast forwarding two months later, and Ash got introduced to the game. In this update, Supercell added arguably the best showdown mode ever, Showdown Plus. Only one month later, and another legendary brawler got added, Meg. Then in October, a new Brawl Pass season started, featuring Lola. Jesse got remodeled during this update, but nothing much else happened. But this all changed in November when gears were introduced to the game. They worked a lot different than what they do now, and barely anyone liked the old gear system. This wasn't the only thing that got added, because you could now play Club League with your club members. To make Club League possible, Supercell decided to reduce the amount of club members from 100 to only 30. Moving on to December and Fang and Grom got added, together with duels. Another year has passed, and we're in 2022 now. Not a lot of updates happened this year, with the first update happening in March of 2022. Eve got added with a couple of new game modes, Wipeout and Payload. These weren't the only things that got added, since you could now find wild power points in boxes. Instead of getting power points for a particular brawler, you could now choose which brawler you wanted to upgrade, which gave a lot more freedom in the player's progression. Only one month later, and Janet and Bonnie were introduced to the game, completing the stunt show trio. Together with Stu, new bouncer tiles got added to Brawl Ball to make trick shots even more sophisticated. 
a new mode called Bot Drop was added, which was arguably the worst mode to be ever released. These weren't the only new additions to the game, since there were now sprays and improvements to quests to make it easier to reach the end of the Brawl Pass. Then in June, Otis got added, with a couple new game modes including Hunters, and a mystery mode that would select a random game mode, with a random map and a random modifier. Penny also got a remodel during this time. Moving on to September, when Sam and Gus got added, together with a new weekend mode, 8, Bits Last Stand, which I don't think anyone really played much. In this update, Supercell also announced the removal of Siege, which some people hated and some people loved. But then in October, Buster was introduced, which was pretty cool. However, this wasn't the most exciting part. Gears Hooray! finally got a rework. Star powers and gadgets were now always purchasable for gold, and bad randoms could finally get reported in Power League. It's December, and the most brawlers ever get released in one update. It's the Candyland update featuring Mandy, Gray, and Chester. This wasn't the only big thing that happened because this was the update where boxes got removed. It was the most controversial update ever, so please comment down below what you think of the removal of boxes. Instead of boxes, we now got credits, the Star Road, and fame. Moving on to 2023, and the first update happened in March, where RT and Willow got added, together with Brawler Masteries, Brawler Titles, Battle Cards, and the return of Indestructible Walls. Two months later, and Maisie and Hank made an introduction to the game. Star points were replaced with bling, and you could now buy whatever skin you wanted by using the catalog, instead of waiting for a skin to come out in the shop. There was also another showdown mode added, Top Dog, in the hopes of reducing teaming. But this obviously didn't work. June 2023, the update that brought us two more brawlers, Hank and Cordelius, together with Star Drops, in the hope of reviving the feeling of excitement when opening something. As you could see, a lot of stuff happened the past six years, with a lot of items being removed from the game, and just a whole lot of changed overall. We don't know the future of Brawl Stars, but we do know that it's still going strong, and we'll just have to wait and see what the future has in store for the game. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to sub, and I'll see you in the next one.